sulfur dioxide sulfur by reacting with oxygen it results as the formation of two important oxides one is sulfur dioxide having the molecular formula so2 and one more sulfur trioxide with so3 molecular formula but in our syllabus the discussion is related with sulfur dioxide that is preparation physical properties chemical properties and uses of sulfur dioxide so let us learn preparation first preparation of sulfur dioxide first one sulfur when heated in the presence of air it converted into sulfur dioxide in second method in the laboratory it is convenient to produce sulfur dioxide from sulfate ions so4 minus 2 plus h2o plus h plus that means in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid we can produce sulfur dioxide similarly during the first preparation of sulfur dioxide when sulfur heated in the presence of air there is a formation of sulfur dioxide a trace amount of there is nearly 6 to 2 8 percentage of sulfur trioxide also possible in the first preparation in the second preparation the sulfates when reacted in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid so they really uh, they converts into sulfur dioxide whereas the sulfide ores iron sulfide when undergoes oxidation process that is addition of oxygen to iron ores in its sulfide form it produces sulfur dioxide 4 FeSO2 gives rise to here 8 SO2 plus Fe2O3 so that is 2 Fe2O3 during the preparation 4 ferrous sulfide or iron sulfide molecules oxidized with 11 oxygens dioxygens to produce sulfur dioxide so this is the preparation of sulfur dioxide so the prepared sulfur dioxide the prepared sulfur dioxide dried and stored dried and liquefied liquefied by using pressure and stored in steel containers steel containers so this is what how the preparation of sulfur dioxide takes place in next step during the properties properties of sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide is a colorless colorless gas with pungent smell colorless gas with pungent smell or odor so very drastic uh, smell that we observe with sulfur dioxide it is highly soluble it is highly soluble in water soluble in water generally it will show or when sulfur dioxide dissolved in water that means h2o plus sulfur dioxide gives rise to h2so3 which results as the formation of sulfurous acid as our compound so as per our previous uh, class 
oxygen by reacting with metals and non metals they produce it produces various types of oxides these oxides classified majorly into three categories they are acidic oxides basic oxides and amphoteric oxides so sulfur dioxide when reacted with water it produces acid that is sulfurous acid so hence sulfur dioxide is also called as acidic oxide next it will show it freezes or liquefies liquefies at 2783 kelvin temperature actually it is present in gaseous state at ordinary temperature when we decrease the temperature when it reaches to 283 degree kelvin the gaseous form of sulfur dioxide converts into liquefied form similarly here the most important reaction of sulfur dioxide chemi under chemical properties when sulfur dioxide treated with sodium hydroxide it produces na2so3 sodium sulfite is the final product now the formed sodium sulfite by reacting with one more sulfur dioxide it produces nahso3 that means sodium hydrogen sulfite or sodium bisulfite is ultimate product produced from sulfur dioxide when it reacted with sodium hydroxide once again the sulfur dioxide by dissolving the sulfur dioxide gas in sodium hydroxide it first produces sodium sulfite now the formed sodium sulfite further reacted with one more sulfur dioxide to produce sodium bisulfite similarly during during the reaction of reaction of sulfur dioxide with water and alkali so we how to know the difference between a base and alkali all the bases are never called as alkalis those bases which can soluble in water only called as alkalis so means the sulfur dioxide when reacted with water and alkali it can produce it desired products for example sulfur dioxide when reacted with water produces sulfurous acid whereas the same sulfur dioxide when reacted with alkali that is sodium hydroxide it produces sodium bisulfite as final product during the reaction of sulfur dioxide with water and alkali it behaves as or it behaves similar to similar to carbon dioxide it behaves similar to carbon dioxide similarly one more important chemical reaction that will identified onto the sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide when reacted with chlorine gas it produces sulfuryl chloride so2 cl2 now the formed sulfuryl chloride when further reacted with sulfur dioxide and ultimately produces sulfur trioxide as our product so this is extended reaction once again sulfur dioxide reacts with chlorine to produce sulfuryl chloride now the formed sulfuryl chloride further reacted with one more sulfur dioxide in the presence of vanadium 5 oxide or vanadium pentoxide as catalyst to produce sulfur trioxide is our ultimate final product